Hello everyone, it's Spurs Reading 96 here, and welcome to another Train Sim World video on my channel. Now, for those of you that have recently joined on the channel, and of course, thank you for, for doing that, um, you're probably wondering, what the hell kind of video is this? <laughs> well, it's a series I did uh, a while back, and quite consistently as well, uh, and that was a route suggestion series uh, going from, you know, very realistic chances of locomotives or routes being in the game to completely unrealistic suggestions. Um, now, I've decided to bring this back. I'm not going to be doing it permanently, I must make that clear. I, I'm not going to pump one out every single week, if that's what you're thinking. I just simply don't have time for that. Um, but I thought, well, why not do one that um, focuses on a specific genre of train sim world, high-speed passenger routes. Um, now, I have done some suggestions for it, from the ridiculous proposal of um, London to Paris, which is owned by the Eurostar, to uh, Italy's high-speed route, which goes from uh, Roma or Rome to Napoli or Naples. Um, and I wanted to do it in a video that not only focuses on this type of genre, but also in a different European country. And I thought, well, what's the next best out of Germany, England, uh, France, which we have in the game, and uh, some suggestions like we, like I did in Italy. Well, let's do Spain. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty logical. Um, they're one of the top big five nations in Europe, if England, if you can call the UK in Europe, that is. But uh, yeah, um, I've decided to f pick a section of high-speed route because the actual high-speed route was ridiculous. It was like over 300 miles and I thought, well, this video would be far too long and too boring and too un unrealistic. Now, uh, and that is, well, going for my favorite city in Spain, Valencia. Now they have a high-speed route that goes from Valencia to Barcelona. It's called the uh, Euro Med train or the, uh, as I call it in this video, the Valencia uh, Mediterraneo which is Spanish for Mediterranean. <laughs> um, and I've decided to cherry pick an 82 mile section, which goes from uh, Valencia Nord to Vinaros. Now, let's take a look at why I chose this section, what you can do on this particular section of track, and also look at the rolling stock. That could potentially arrive on, well, my suggestion of Train Sim World's first Spanish route. Now let's start with the route length. Now whilst 82 miles may sound like a lot, and obviously if it was to come to the game it would be the longest route by a significant margin, it's not the longest route that say Dovetail Games or have constructed, for sure. If you look at Train Simulator there are much, much longer high speed routes um, that exceed well over 100 miles in some cases. So while 82 miles sounds unrealistic, it's not preposterous if you like. Um, now, in the city of Valencia, uh, by the way, uh, there are 18 stations. I thought I'd put that in as well. And now, in the city of Valencia, you have uh, two lovely stations. You've got Valencia Nord, which is actually home to uh, commuter-style services, specifically the S5 and S6 line, which run, run along the um, uh, Med train line, if you like. Um, and there's also the Valencia Corella station, which is where the high-speed services, where, wherever that may be going to in Spain, uh, either terminate or begin their service. So I think having two stations really close together for two different types of services, I think that's pretty unique. And also in the city of Valencia, the monuments are <laughs> pretty obvious. I mean, you've got from the wonderful Mestalla Stadium, home of Valencia Football Club, uh, to this fantastic bullring arena and is literally right next door to um, Valencia Nord station and uh, also you get the Institute of Science and Technologies uh, fantastic facilities you know really uh, futuristic architecture and it really does stand out in the city of Valencia if you've been to Valencia I'm sure you might have recognized it it's even been on uh, Doctor Who I think uh, in the past so uh, certainly it has a lot of character and uh, certainly is in like a very futuristic and almost alienating spaceship kind of architecture that uh, certainly stands out in the city of Valencia. Of course, it's a port and a hot tourist destination as well. So uh, this would be a perfect route to release in the summertime of, well, if it was on my books, I would release it in the summer of 2022. But uh, unfortunately, I don't have that power of Dovetail Games. Um, 
Now, in terms of the uh, the speed you can reach on this route, it's not super fast 200 mile per hour, 320 kilometer per hour top speeds. Absolutely not. The maximum speed limit you can reach is 140 miles per hour. Now, whilst that is not you know, super fast like we've experienced in the game, it's faster than some routes. It's faster than Great Western Express, for example. It's, I think, close to, if not matching, these top speeds you can reach on Schnellfahrstrecke Strecker Curl to Aachen. So it's it's not it's not the fastest, but it's certainly not the slowest sh for sure. Um, now, in terms of the high-speed passenger services, which is operated by Renf. Um, it's difficult to get a timetable because obviously the pandemic has effed everything up as regards to uh, timetables and so on and so forth, you know, nowhere near running at full capacity um, as per the pandemic, so it's difficult to get a judgement, so I would base this route before the pandemic, thank god. Um, so services, high speed services, you can either do non-stop runs between um, Valencia and Barcelona or a stopping pattern, now they don't stop at many stations. Um, they stop at Castella, which, um, yeah, that's the only stop they have to uh, stop at in real life, but in the game they would have to uh, terminate at the, well, the station I've picked as the terminating station. Um, so I think there's a bit of freeway there to kind of customise the high-speed services, whilst it's not completely realistic, you know, it's realistic to a degree. Now, in terms of the locomotives, well, that's an interesting one. <laughs> you can either have one or the other. You can have the Renf Class 130, as I call it, the uh, the ugly duckling. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's not my favourite looking train, but it's certainly unique and uh, it is a pretty fast train. I mean, they were introduced in the mid 2000s and uh, yeah, have become a stable a stable mate of uh, the Renf high speed network. Now, recently you do have the Class 730s, but they do not operate on this particular line, um, I, I believe. Now, you can also add an older locomotive if you wish to include it, and that is the Class 100 or 106. It looks very familiar to the French TGV older sets, and uh, I actually prefer the, uh, the Class 100, simply because it looks better. <laughs> now, of course, no, both of these locomotives will no be, nowhere near be able to reach their, uh, you know, maximum performance, for sure. But, of course, they're electric, um, you know, no diesel power or anything like that, and, uh, of course, they can seat hundreds of people in great comfort. Um, and, of course, the driving characteristics of these locomotives will be interesting to replicate in Train Sim World 2, if it was to come to the game, that is, because, um, well, Dovetail Games have never, ever produced a Spanish route, or not many other European routes, so uh, it would be interesting to see if a third party or Dovetail Games was to produce this route, to actually see what the, you know, not the visual, but driving characteristics of these high-speed locomotives are. Now, I did say at the beginning, or near the beginning, um, that there is some commuter aspect to this particular route. So, let's take a look at that. So, as you can see, we've got on this uh, route map here, uh, two commuter lines that run on pretty much the majority of the Valencia um, Mediterranean Mediterranean line. Uh, you've got the C5, which goes uh, from Valencia to as far as Sargent, and of course uh, Sergent or Segent, however you say it, and then it goes off northwest. And then you've got the C6 line, which is the blue one, which goes from Valencia Nord to Castello. Of course, all of that line is included in my route suggestion. Now, the interesting thing is, now uh, they are of course run by a, uh, a different operator, but are owned but that operator is owned by the same company, which is Renf. Um, these two commuter routes are run, the passenger services are run by two completely different multiple units. The C6 line is run by the Renf Class 447 electric multiple unit, which has been in service since uh, 1993. And then the C5 line is operated by the Renf Class 592 uh, diesel multiple unit. And uh, that's been in service um, since 1981, which is even older. So, uh, yeah, I think it's quite unique having two different commuter lines, which of course make, you know, the route more busier along with the high-speed services, but then operated by two completely different old-school multiple units, a diesel one and an electric one. Uh, so it certainly adds to the driving challenge and experience. Um, 
so yeah that concludes it <laughs> it's been a it's been hard to put together and apologies if i get some statistics wrong um like i said i haven't made this type of video in a very long time so i am a bit rusty um but of course if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like please subscribe if you are new for more train sim world content on my channel uh, hope you like this uh, route suggestion, the, the first pro well, proposed Spanish route for trains in world, the Valencia Mediterranean line. Uh, but as always, I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Take care.